clothe yourself, all of you, with humility towards one another. For God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. My dear sisters and brothers, I just told you the attitude of being humble. What is it? It is to realize that God is the one who is the center of my being. He is the head. I am a part, a cell in his body. So I have not to think of myself as God taking his place. So I must be humble to know that I can do nothing and that whatever I do is by the grace of God. And that's what it is told to us. So, what is our attitude towards one another? Humility. Therefore, to realize that all of us are important in the body of Jesus. We are all in the body of Jesus. So, no part can say, I am better than you. All of us are equally best. Because God is dwelling in all of us. And if you have this, how do you inculcate this attitude? The two things are said. Be sober and watchful. What is the meaning of being full, sober and watchful? Sober is not to be, you know, agitated or, you know, trying to show off. No, sober is being very calm, gentle. The gentle shall inherit the earth. That's the attitude. And to be watchful. That means you're very present in body, mind and spirit to yourself and to others. So you know what's happening in the body. Body in the sense we know what's happening in our body. But when we are together, we are all in the body of Jesus. So we have another kind level of being present to one another. And if we do this, then it is said to us that we will be able to experience these qualities. Namely, we will be, he will restore us, he will establish us, he will strengthen us. So, he will make us who we should be. Each one of us is unique. So, he'll make us what we should be in him so that we help the others in this process. Now, it is said at the end, peace to all of you that are in Christ. So when we are in Christ, this is the attitude which we need to have towards one another. And in the end, we see how in his name, we will be able to do this. That means we remain in Jesus and Jesus keeps working through us. It is not we who do all this healing, this uh, kind of driving away the evil one from the other. No. It is the Lord who worked through them and confirmed the message by the signs that attended it. So it is the Lord who is doing the things through us. And then when we have this attitude of humility, it will be seen and evident. Then who should be given praise? Not we. It is already told to us that the Father should be praised for all that is done through us by our union with Jesus under the guidance of the Spirit. And so let us just hold our hands together, close our eyes, and internally be present to Jesus. At every breath, we are present to Him. He is present to us. He breathes into us and gives us all that we need in our body. We don't even know what's going on, but He is sustaining us. He is maintaining us. And He is also working through us. At every breath out, let us keep surrendering everything to Him, our thoughts, our feelings, our attitudes, our intentions, whatever is there of the past that we regurgitate and it comes to our mind. Let us not hold on to anything, but remain internally free. When we give it to Him, He makes us internally free. Then we are truly humble. So it is in this attitude of humility that we shall also internally pray for the exposition and the jubilee year. Lord God, our loving Father, in the history of salvation, 
you call, form, and send the human person. We lift our hearts in thanksgiving to you for the divine call of St. Francis Xavier, fixing his gaze on the cross of your son, he underwent a change of heart, leaving aside worldly honor and with humility and missionary zeal, he became an ardent messenger of the good news. As we now prepare ourselves to celebrate the solemn exposition of his relics and for the Jubilee year 2025, we ask you and implore you to strengthen our communion in the light of your word and in the true spirit of synodality. May we truly be prepared to participate in your mission so that the, through the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, we may become joyful messengers of the good news. Amen.